everybody, I'm Ryan, and today I'm going to do the displacement reaction experiment. So first we need our copper sulfide solution. We're going to add two pipettes of water inside this test tube and two, and two scoops of this copper sulfide. It's, this will become this copper sulfide solution. All right. So now we are going to dissolve this by shaking it. So we're gonna put on our goggles and we're gonna shake it until it is dissolved inside this water. So it will become this, which is the copper sulfite solution right there. Now we're going to do the displacement reaction. Okay, so we have the copper sulfide solution right here, and we're going to put in a piece of zinc metal, the, this metal right here. So at first glance, it looks gray. Now we are going to put it inside the copper sulfide solution. But why would we not? Uh, put the cap on that is because it will release some gas and the and uh, the cap will pop off so to be safe we're gonna put it inside without the cap here we go so now you can instantly see that it is slowly turning black look at that and you can also see that it is forming bubbles. So why, how does it turn black and why? So as soon as the piece of zinc touches the copper sulfide solution, which is the blue water, it started to change color. It becomes darker as copper metal forms on the surface of the zinc. So the black surface is copper, which is not zinc. Some of the zinc atoms dissolve and dissolve and uh, into a solution of zinc sulfite and copper atoms join together to make solid copper. And that solid copper goes onto the, the zinc plate, which is, and this reaction is called displacement reaction. This is the displacement reaction. So first, this is the zinc. Zinc plus copper sulfite, it will turn into copper plus uh, zinc sulfite. So all of these uh, methods is copper, Cu, S, S, which is sulfite, O, which is sulfur, and O, which is oxygen, which has four atoms here. Now it will turn into copper and zinc sulfide, zinc, sulfur, oxygen, four. So you can see the displacement of the atoms. First, this is red, which is zinc, and the copper and sulfur is together. Now, uh, now uh, this sulfur is already mixed with oxygen, so it turns into copper sulfide. Now it's a uh, the copper displaced with uh, zinc, which makes copper plus zinc sulfite. And now we're going to explain uh, the guide at with the periodic table of elements. This is the periodic table, and on the 30th element, which is zinc, it uh, we have this plate, which is uh, which is this. Uh, this once once metallic gray color which is the zinc and it is mixed into into the copper sulfite which is CuSO and four atoms of O which is oxygen and there is and now it turns it displaces the copper displaces zinc so it becomes it becomes a copper with zinc sulfite with uh, four atoms of oxygen, and you can see here.
close up that it has produced some bubbles. Those bubbles are hydrogen, which are produced inside the H2O of, uh, of, the, sol the, of the solution, the copper sulfate solution, uh, which we had water and copper sulfate. So it produces hydrogen gas. And did you know that hydrogen gas also might become a revolutionary step in our engineering and technolog technological advancement? It has um, tr uh, scientists have tried and tried to incorporate it into cars, so it can get the power from hydrogen gas because it is flammable, which it will be a great step in our advancement in science. Fun fact, after you have used this zinc in this experiment, the copper on the, on the zinc plate, which is Cu, can be washed off, so you can use it again in another experiment. And that is all for this video, and remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!